The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Find your flannel because we're taking a trip back to the 90s with Rippin' Riders on the Sega Dreamcast. It's so easy to forget that there was once a time when the hot video game style was extreme sports like skateboarding and snowboarding. Here comes the trick point. Get ready for it. Bomb that cliff. Excellent. Yeah, alright. Yeah, bomb that cliff. <laughs> Whoa! Back in 1999 and 2000, games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater ruled the earth instead of Minecraft Angry Birds and I don't even know what genre is popular these days. But there were a lot of skateboarding and snowboarding games where you would slide down or skate down the mountain or whatever and pull off tricks and score points and a lot of them were really good. Go! Here I go! Especially when they were on the Sega Dreamcast. Here comes the trick point. Get ready for it. Bomb that clip. Yeah, baby. Oh, Rippin' Riders. As if you can't tell, this game comes from the 90s. Oh, it actually looks like a pretty good game, but falls short of actually being a good game. Like, all the pieces are here. It feels a lot like Tony Hawk Pro Skater on a snowboard, except it doesn't play anything like Tony Hawk Pro Skater because the controls are terrible. Not even the power of the Sega Dreamcast can fix sloppy controls. Some of the environments look pretty nice. The 90s period music sounds good, or at least as good as it can. It's a bit generic, but well produced. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, check this. And of course, you've got a bunch of shredding riders to choose from. <laughs> Come on, baby. Good. Good. Not bad, but you can do better than that. Cool. Oh, what are you doing? What I'm doing is suffering through sloppy controls and questionable level design. This this feels like a game where they could have spent a few more months making it. Like, you do all the extreme sports things, but there doesn't seem to be a great flow to the game. So you, you pull off these huge jumps, right? Hey, you're running out of time! But before you do that, you hold the analog stick a certain direction for a certain length of time. Which means you basically have to plan ahead. And that ruins the spontaneous fun gameplay aspect of Ripman Riders and replaces it with memorization and rigidity, neither of which is terribly fun. Boo! Boo! Boo indeed! Like, it's not bad, it's not a god-awful game or anything, it just could have been better with some refinement. Yeah, I suppose, but then I would risk landing on my head and losing points. So I'll just play it safe and get through the round, which unlocks new levels and stuff, of course. Keep in mind, though, I'm reviewing this in the future. It's 2015. If you had showed me this game in 1999 on the Dreamcast, I'd have probably seen through its faults and found a way to love it. It's just that so many other games have done the control scheme better. Too bad. Oh, well. You've got a bunch of gnarly riders to choose from, and they've each got different outfits and styles and some special moves. And I love that you can throw your arms up and smash through rocks and piles of logs. These are some tough-ass snowboarders. <laughs> She's annoying. I'm gonna send her down a bottomless pit. There's a couple different gameplay modes, including two players, so you can race a friend. And I love that it's on the Dreamcast, but the fact is there's far better snowboarding games out there. My advice is to not spend more than five bucks for it. I think your time on the Dreamcast would be better spent playing Seaman, or Choo Choo Rocket, or Sega Rally 2, or Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, or really any number of games. In conclusion, you could add this to your Sega Dreamcast collection if you want to, it's alright, but not great. However, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Marcus from Anchorage, Alaska. Thank you, Marcus! Whoa! Fender Bender! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Oh, come on, you gotta try. Hey, you're running out of time! Rippin' Riders! You may rip it a new one or find it mediocre at best.
the best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set. <laughs>